So I purchased um, the, um, this is called the Magic Changer or Hidden Messenger. It's the Hidden Messenger kit from uh, Diamond Press through the HSN uh, craft day that we just had in October. But previous to that, I bought this one, which is called the Magic Iris from Lawn Fawn. And the reason why I bought theirs was to kind of see the difference between the two and compare it to what each one of them had to offer. So um, the this is called the Hidden Message, and this is called the Magic Iris. It does the same thing. It, like, shows a picture changer. Um, once you put it together, you open it up. So if you see this, when you open it up, it, you have it closed, you open it up, and it shows the hidden message. This does the same thing. And so I wanted to kind of see what the difference was. So this video is me actually just doing some comparison on what I got. That's all this video is for, just to kind of do some comparison. And then I will... Um, I will make them both so we can see what they look like. So the next video will be making this one and this one or this one of them so you can kind of see it. So let's see what you really get. First of all, the first thing that you get in this is um, instructions. That's the first thing that you get in this is instructions. You don't get that with the lawn fawn one but you get um you can go on their website and they teach you how to do it and they did create a video i'm not sure if diamond press did that same thing or not but i know there's videos where you can actually see it all happen but they actually give you instructions on how it's supposed to work how many pieces you cut out of each one, how they go together step by step. On For them, they, they don't have that. They show you what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like when the transition, but not really how to put it together. That's one plus for me is now they put instructions. I love that. I love that they're including instructions because you get these um, home and you don't know what to do with them. You look at them and be like, I don't know. And so that's why you most people have so much stuff because they don't know what to do with it. Luckily, the magic of YouTube and people doing reviews is making it a lot easier for us now. Okay, so the first thing I notice is this mechanism. Um which is in here. Nope, these are all the changers. Where's the lever? I don't know. These these are the levers. This is the lever. This one is attached. This is that second one. And you put your little, um, whichever direction. Because this one, you just pull it any direction. You put your arrow on it. This one, you put your arrow on it. The little sausage things kind of look the same. They kind of look the same. Of course, the circles, they look the same. Um, for them, they actually give you an extra one. Um, and then this is this this little spindle thing is this. And then they give you extra toppers. There go your arrow. They give you flowers and stuff. Um, of course, you always get an extra folder no matter what. And then they give you stamps to go with their set. Let's see? They give you stamps that you can stamp on the card. Which is nice. Different kinds of stamps and um, for the set. And then you get the two folders to put your stuff in. So that's the diamond press side. And of course, those handy instructions. So for Lawn Fawn, the Magic Iris, you get this piece and I think 
Um, I'm not sure if that's the first part. This is the part that puts it together. Yeah, this is the part that puts it together. This one seemed to be a little bit... Um, does it look like it's a little... They look about the same size. They look about the same size. Because I haven't done... I haven't put this together yet. Um, the difference with them is they have a lot of add-ons. A lot of add-ons. So this is the first full set. And then the add-on, this looks, this is like the Magic Iris add-on for the reveal wheel type. So this is kind of reminds you of the reveal wheel. Um, and so it shows you how to do it. So you're using this mechanism to achieve this. That. And then this is another one cover, which reminds you of this one. It, it's very close. It's just these scallops are smaller. And let's see if how much bigger is this. Um, the same size. It's the same size. Okay. So, and then you get the this part, which is part of the camera. Yeah, because this is Magic Iris camera add-on piece. So, this is the... Uh, an add-on camera piece to make it look like you have Polaroids and then that's the camera so these two pieces work in tandem together so you make the camera and when you pull it up like you build your camera and this piece you pull it upward and then it shows the picture so it actually gives you a little bit more than just opening and closing. Now you can pull this upward and your picture comes out of the um, whole mechanism together. So Lawn Fawn kind of gives you some extra things to do with their um, Magic Iris set, which is the same thing as the hidden, whatever this is, hidden message. So same type of thing. The difference, biggest difference is you get stamps with this one and you get multiple designs with this one. You get the flower, you get the camera, which is this, and then you get the magic, um, then you get the reveal wheel one, and then this is the regular one. And I believe they just came out with another one. Hi, Princess. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I, I done had this Lawn Fawn set for a long time. Actually, I bought this at the virtual show that they had, Lawn Fawn had, maybe like four months ago when they did the virtual conference. I bought all of these separate pieces, or I bought the whole kit together. And then when I seen this, and I was like, oh, let me see what the difference is. And actually... There really isn't much of a difference in the basic mechanism of this. All of this is all kind of basic. Um, and, and then this is really where your extra fun comes from all of the add-ons. And there's more add-ons that I seen the other day. And so I am, I'm going to do a video on me. I was just doing the difference between the Lawn Fawn and the um, Diamond Press. Uh, hidden message both of them are kind of the same to me they look the same um, and you're going to kind of get the same results it's just one's a little fancier than the other and one gets a little bit more than the other and one's more expensive than the other this is not ex expensive as this one I'm froze I can tell I'm froze it looks like I'm froze there we go yeah this one you get it's not as expensive as this one, and you get much more options with this one. I'm going to see if the, what the new um, Magic Iris things are so I can um, get those also because I try to um, get all the pieces So because um, I have full set syndrome. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's all. I'm not sure if the hit message, did it come with an auto ship also? I just got this in the mail. Let me look at the receipt. Um, yeah, it comes with an auto ship. So that's good. That means we're going to see some extra pieces with this set. 
So I would say if it's available to get the... Oh, no, they only do the auto ship the first day, don't they? On the craft shows. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm, I'm going to go back and look at that video and see what it's going to come with, these extra pieces. Um, but I'm going to put this together so we can see how hard this is. It looks really easy to put together. The steps on here is seems to be really straightforward to put them together. So I think it's going to be kind of easy. There's only, it's about 10 steps to it, but it's not as hard as it really looks. It's not really hard at all. Nope, it's not hard at all. So, um, because you you cut out two rings, five of these little sausage looking things, one anchor and two of the rings. And the rings is just the front and the back to hide your mechanisms. Oh, it, it sold out. Yeah. Figures. Cause when I seen this, I picked it up two days before the show. As soon as I seen it, I picked it up. And so that's how I was able to get it before it sold out. Because I really didn't buy a lot of stuff from the craft event this time. It really wasn't a whole lot that I was really looking at. Um, the only thing that I know I haven't received yet is that Anna Griffin door. That door has not arrived yet. And I don't know what the holdup for that is. Oh, you did get it. Okay, good. Yeah, I I, I don't, I didn't get a lot. It's, it's. The, the, the supplies are starting to run together, in my opinion. There, there's starting to be a lot of duplicates. And so I'm, I literally bought four different doors. So, like, it's, they're starting to become very redundant. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, I did my door the other day. Um, I, and this door is super easy this was my door it, it was super easy it was literally cutting out is this the right door no this is the door from honeybee stamps <laughs> yeah this is the door from honeybee stamps yeah that's how it is it's like i think i think that they're like once their patent time is up or something that as long as you have something different, you can make the same thing. So people are kind of following behind each other, making the same types of stuff. Um, because this is maybe six months old, a year old. And then now that this is out, so they're like, they changing up just enough so it can be different. But it's still doing the same thing. Yeah. So... But I will do a video. I will cut these pieces out and I will do a video showing you how to do this one and showing you how to do this one. I might do them in the same day. What's tomorrow? Friday? Yeah, because I'm not busy tomorrow because my daughter's closing got pushed to Monday. So I got the weekend off. Yeah, I seen that. I was listening to another YouTuber and um, what is her name? Catnip. I don't know if y'all ever watch her um, catnip designs. And AliExpress, they ripped off her designs and is selling it. And people are buying them thinking they're hers and they're not. Yeah, Paradise, you watch her. I, I love her stuff. It's very cute. And they ripped her off. She had to send a cease and desist order to them. Yeah, she creates all of her own stuff. She don't do like... Uh, she don't do like, uh, do, she don't do Disney or she don't do any, anybody else. She made her own brand and now it's being ripped off. The pudding brands is being ripped off by her. Did you, you saw Anna Griffin too? It does. See, that doesn't surprise me because you know who else I seen? I seen Stampin' Up on AliExpress and I was, uh, I was about to buy that I was about to buy it until I realized who it was and what it was. But they had, I'm looking for it underneath my table. And I love this. Of course, I can't find it now that I'm looking. Never can't see for looking. Oh, here it is. This is how I knew they was knocking them off. Is this stamp set here. This right here 
she, there's like three different ladies. One is singing in the rain, one dancing, and they had uh, dyes to go with this. And this set didn't have a dye. And that's how I knew it was a knockoff because this set doesn't have a dye to it. Because I often said, why didn't you have a dye? And on AliExpress, that's the other ones. It has a dye. And so that's why I be very careful and I go straight to the companies. I go straight to the companies now. Yeah. Crafting's Companion is on AliExpress too. See? People and they hard work and they're being ripped off because of the uh, ability for them. You know why? They make everything. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. They, they're they ripping off people, and that's horrible. People take time to create this, and they pay people, and and it's ridiculous. I haven't gotten to the point where I'm allowed to be big enough to somebody to rip me off yet. <laughs> but I bet you people will be. They, they will. Once you start coming out with good stuff, they're going to try to do it. And that's horrible. That is horrible. That, you know, it keeps people from really doing what they need to do to support their companies. So I wasn't going to come out with a video tonight because I took my whole setup down. If you can tell my camera angle is a little wonky. It's like angled is because I'm using a webcam tonight and I had to fix it because my husband is going to mount my camera on my ceiling tomorrow. I know <laughs> me too. <laughs> No, no, no. He's mounting it on the ceiling in my craft room. Um, I have a um, I have a, a whole nother camera set up upstairs. I have a whole nother camera set up upstairs. He's he's mounted right above my craft desk because I have um on my desk where I video right like I'm about to swing to the side right here. I have a this thing here, this argon mount. But usually it's a tripod right there for my regular camera. And so I'm tired of that taking up so much table space. And so he's going to mount it on the ceiling. Yes, I'm waiting for that door. Um, the Anna Griffin's door. And I'm waiting for something else. I'm waiting for one other thing that's on back order. Um, I can't remember because I, I know it's two things I'm waiting for. I know I'm waiting for the door and I'm waiting for something else because after that, I don't have any orders out except one order at Crafters Companion. I have one order at Crafters Companion and then I'm getting ready to order this. Um, I just changed my craft room around. Um, of course, I can never find anything. I'm getting ready to order the strips um, from um, where you they you die cut the strips, and it has like birthday and uh, oh here it is tailored expression. I'm getting ready to buy the rest of the set of the tailored expression stamps. And so what you do is you stamp it and then there's a plate that go over and cut these strips out and they have five other ones and I have three of them. So I'm getting ready to buy it to have the whole set. And then that's all my shopping um, for right now because everything else uh, I have <laughs> that I want. I'm waiting for something from Crafters Companion though. I have that whole foaming kit from Crafters Companion, and I still have not used it. I know. I'm a hoarder for crafts. <laughs> I love crafts. I have people who are like, I want to come over to your house and craft with you. And, and I tell them, no, they can't come over my house right now. But as soon as this is all over, we're going to have big crafting 
conferences in um in my um church. <laughs> they already gave me a room to put people in to come and do crafts all day. I literally bought some flower foam. I have a big stack of flower foam that I got from Creating Craft, and I haven't used it. Um, let's see. Did I show y'all this? Did I show y'all this right here? It's a big container of foam. Like, all of this is flower foam from creating craft with all these different all of these different colors came in it i put crafters companion stuff in here now too but all of these colors came together and it was like twenty dollars thirty dollars for all of this flower making foam and i haven't used any of it i know i told you i'm a craft hoarder <laughs> when i see stuff i get it because i know in the winter time all I do is, you know, for the holiday and stuff, all I do is craft. And I make presents for everybody. I am, I'm eventually do it. I actually broke down yesterday and when I was out with my daughter, looked for an iron that I could use because those um, heat presses from Crafter's Companion, not Crafter's Companion, who the, uh, Cricket, the heat press from Cricket's, are so hot and so I don't want to use those so I was gonna go buy me one of them ten dollar cheap irons to use so I could learn how to do it yeah those easy presses are I have all of them all four of them and they're they get so hot and I don't want to do that with no flower forming and then my regular irons are Ry Ryobis or Ryobis or whatever them little steam press irons yeah, that's what I might do. If I, I didn't even think of Family Dollar. That's true. They'll have a cheap $10 iron I can use. I think I'm going to have to do that. Because I, I was trying to find an iron that collapsed like uh, Craig used the other day. I was really trying to find look at that. But I haven't been able to. Um, I didn't go into enough stores. Because Target, I was in Target yesterday and they didn't have it. They didn't have any regular cheap irons. They only had expensive irons. I was like, "Ooh, these irons cost more than my Ryovi. Ryovi, whatever, however you pronounce the thing. Yes. I'm <laughs> I literally just got finished playing Animal Crossing. Um, and I learned how to use the transforming tool. And I bought the uh tool to make water that landscaping tool i just made a water pond uh and so and i just filled in another one so when he gets home from work we used to usually spend about an hour uh playing yeah i play it every day <laughs> it's it's terrible i play it every morning i play it about an hour in the afternoon and then i play it at night when he comes home and and so and I made it where I can go visit his town and he can come visit mine. <laughs> Thank you. It's fun. It's fun. And and we did some paint pouring this weekend. We did four totes full of paint pouring. So we're gonna do a paint pouring video on Saturday after he gets off work because he got to go into work on Saturday. And so I'm gonna do a paint pouring video with him. Because we're still making the presents for the men's department at his at our church. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. I just figured I really wanted to come in and do this this video, and I will do this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did it for his men's ministry. Um, so I'm gonna do this. My camera angle will look right tomorrow because that's the first thing he has to do is put my camera up on the ceiling. So we can, um, so I can be able to use it. I bought this mount, but he took the mount in the dining room, I think, but it's a mount. It's about, it's about this long when it's collapsed, but it's huge when it's uncollapsed, when it, we open it up and it tips all the way down to right above my desk. So I'll get good shots without having to flip my camera and, um, 
in uh, uh, what do you call that? Final Cut Pro. When I used to do my regular videos, I had to flip it. So the way he's going to put it up, it'll be just like this. And I don't have to flip it. So, all right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. Um, we're going to have our next giveaway when I reach 2,000 subscribers, which is a long way away. But I'm giving away a lot of the dyes and stuff that I don't use. Uh, and all of this extra freebie stuff that I've been getting when they make mistakes with my orders. I'm giving that all the way to some lucky person when I reach 2,000 subscribers. And so I'm putting it away for everybody as I get it. When I get those grab bags and I have duplicates, all of that stuff is going to go in there and we're going to do a giveaway. So hopefully I'll start increasing. Um, please, if you haven't went and looked at my inspired video with um, Call Me Crafty Al, please go over there and look at that video. It was wonderful. I got 300 views the first day or second day or something. Like all of her community came and supported me or a lot of them. So I was really happy about that. So... Oh, shoot. I have a meeting to go to. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much, y'all. Y'all have a good night, and I will see you in the next one.